Have you ever had a dream? <laughs> my dream was to visit all 50 states. And when I had this dream, I thought that I wouldn't be able to do that until I was retirement age. Last year, I visited 20 states, bringing my total to 31 states visited thus far. And last year was so insane. I took more pictures last year than I have in the culmination of me having a phone, honestly. I just made so many memories. I had such a good time. I got to know myself and I got to look at myself in a whole new way because I got to know a new side of myself that I had never experienced before. I got to understand me deeper and that alone made traveling so, so worthwhile. And it is by far one of my best memories to date. I thank me so much for chasing that dream and believing in myself enough to just say fuck it and go do it. You are such a fucking badass, Alexis. I love you. Mwah. That was my dream. And I decided to come back to Florida after having traveled for a year. And to be completely transparent, it is because the funds are not funding at the moment. And during myself chasing my dream, I kept saying that I'm living and everything is great and I'm happy, but I kind of hate my job. The thing is, the company itself is an amazing company to work for. It's just me. I'm not meant to be a worker. I'm and I'm here to build. I'm put on this planet to build and do great things. And I know that. So clocking into a nine to five is suffocating. And back in August, I ended up quitting my job. Quit my job and was like, fuck it, I'm gonna figure it out. And girl, I'm gonna be real, it has been chaos since August. <laughs> it's been emotional turmoil, let me tell you, girl. Today and since August, really, I've been having an existential crisis because I've been worried about money and what I'm going to do and what my next steps are. And so because of the money thing, I decided to come back to Florida, which is where I started and where I have a lot of support. And I've been building and taking a break and figuring out what's next for me. And today I kept pondering and pondering and pondering. What is a dream? What is my dream? Do I even have a dream? I think about my boss friends and my hustler friends and they are getting it. They are going after what they want. And I see these people making their dreams come true and then I'm like what about me what is my dream do I even have a dream I know I want to do good things in this lifetime and I know I'm meant to do amazing things in this lifetime but I don't know that I have a dream so I got to pondering I got to pondering and I realized wait I already did my dream kind of I traveled the states, not all 50, but I have traveled. I did what I wanted to do last year and <clears throat> I'm fine with putting off the remaining states. It doesn't feel like as much of a need in this moment in my life. I think more than anything, I just proved to myself that I am capable of chasing my dreams. And so now that that feels like it's checked marked off for me at the age of 27, I kept asking myself, what is my dream? Because what's next? That can't be my only dream i'm only 27 and then i started thinking about my hustler friends and i'm like dang my girl my girl nay she wants to be a traveling vegan chef my boy jay like the letter he is amazing at what he does in the fashion the fashion industry and the fashion shows that he holds in tampa are crazy he's gonna blow up i see my friend ken who's developing an app and he i don't know if i can say the name so i won't but he's he's like the next mark zuckerberg the black mark zuckerberg beyond mark okay he's his own name he is fucking kenneth and kenneth you're gonna get that shit and my friend aunt who is a journalist for abc action news and just so many people in my life who are doing such incredible things and hustling and just doing it and i look at them they're chasing their dreams they're taking action every day and i'm like what is my dream I don't have that for myself. I don't I don't wake up and want to be a fashion model and take creative steps to do that, right? I just know that I want to help people. I want to help transform people and wake people up and chase their dreams. But my dream is helping people chase their dreams. So I got to pondering that and I got to pondering that. And then I realized and I keep realizing this and keep accepting it <laughs> that the goal is to help people transform but the dream is to have a retreat the dream is to host incredible events and festivals that people come to that are nothing like anything that they have ever been to 
I want to help people make lasting memories. And I want people to know that life means something beyond your daily routine. Beyond the blah, there is life. There's so much life to be seen, to explored. And I also want to have a podcast. I want to help people transform in the physical, in the here, in the now, in the moment uh, that they're in. And I also want to help people transform through their listening. And I want to help people have those aha moments that we all have when we hear something so incredible that touches you so deeply. And I want to be a vessel for change in what is coming in the world. So with that all being said, I, when I realized that, it was just like, ah. Oh. So I had this aha moment kind of on my birthday and I had such a major release on my birthday. So much came into, so much, so much has made sense on my birthday. I turned 27, which for those of you who know, that's the Saturn's return. And I'm like, holy shit, this is crazy. I'm so close to 32. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And um, yeah, so I got the opportunity to have my own podcast. And that ended up not being the right opportunity for me. And that conclusion came about a few weeks ago. I was so down and out. Like, honestly, my mental health has just been in the toilet and it's because of the epiphanies around the dreams and the lack thereof and i didn't even realize it and also you know i, I thought my dream had been answered when i got this opportunity for the podcast everything about it made sense everything about it lined up for me i was so confused what do you mean i thought this opportunity was for me and it's not and i had a vision i have a complete vision of what i want my production to look like the vibe i want it to have and I'm like, oh my gosh, I manifested it. It's right here. I got this opportunity. And then it wasn't for me. So when something like that happens, I get really deterred because I think that it's not for me. I think the whole dream is not for me, right? I'm wrong for having this dream. You're not wrong for having a dream. If it's placed in your heart and you have that vision, it is for you. It's not meant to happen all at once. <laughs> The production that I envision costs money. It takes time. It takes a team. And that's okay. I'm worthy of that. I'm worthy of having a production. I'm worthy of having a team. I have so much to say. I have so much life to give to other people. And that deserves to be seen. So I give myself permission to dream big and to know that it is a journey. And I give myself permission to be present in the process. I give myself permission to be patient in the process. I give myself grace for when things look like they're not working out for me, but really everything is coming together. Don't stop loving yourself in the process. Don't stop believing in yourself. It's meant to be tough. And I've been thinking that myself and all of my hustler friends were in the you know when you watch a really good documentary, right, about like a celebrity or someone you admire? I recently saw the Tyler Perry documentary and that touched my heart. And we have these documentaries about these celebrities and these role models, essentially. And what we see in the documentary is the strife that they had to go through, the journey that they had to take to become the name that we see today. They didn't just wake up and become Tyler Perry. That took a process. And I think that a lot of us are in that stage of our lives where we're in the documentary stage. We're in the actual struggle, the grind it out, the make or break, the do or die, the how much do you want it stage of our lives. That when we look back and we have accomplished everything we wanted to accomplish, it's going to be like, damn, I didn't give up on myself. I believed in myself. That is such to believe in yourself what and it sounds so simple right like just believe in yourself but like what i think a lot of people don't believe in themselves i think a lot of people don't allow themselves to dream big why is it so natural for us to go and clock in at somebody else's dream and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you, if that's what you want to do do what's best for you 
But I know that's not what everybody wants to do. What happened to your dreams? What happened to having fight for yourself? What happened to that? Why is that not a thing? Why is that not as normalized as working for corporate? Because it's fucking hard, that's why. Because it's fucking hard. I cannot tell you how many nights I have given up on myself. I cannot tell you how many times I was at my lowest to build myself back up every single time. But I know what I'm here to do. I know the courage that it takes. I know that even on days where I have imposter syndrome and I think, this can't be for me. I don't deserve this. The courage to do it anyway tells me that I fucking deserve it. And you do too. Whatever you want to do in this fucking life, you deserve to do that shit with your full fucking heart and fly baby fly fucking flourish give yourself permission to flourish i love that for you i love that for you because you know what the thing is it is hard to be an entrepreneur but that's mental toughness do you see how many people are struggling right now? Struggling to pay rent, struggling to fucking live and have a life and not just survive. Struggling with what's going on around the world. Maybe you are meant to follow your dreams. If it's gonna be a struggle anyway, and who is to say that you following your dreams doesn't have a domino effect and help somebody somewhere else now more than ever, we have to come together. Now more than ever, we got to do something different. Do something different. Give it a shot. We have to come together and form community. And that means going against everything that we've been taught. And start looking outside of the box. Start questioning everything. And honor yourself in this lifetime. Do what it is that you want to do. Because I promise you, you're here for a reason. You have a purpose beyond your wildest dreams. And the best part is that purpose is directly aligned to your dreams. I cannot wait to see you flourish. <laughs> to all my boss entrepreneurs doing your thing, making waves. Thank you. Thank you for being a daily role model for me. And I cannot wait to watch your documentary one day. Peace and love to all. Keep your head up. You got this.